Hello there and welcome to this manifestation challenge. My name is Alain Dagba. This is the first episode of the manifestation challenge. My purpose is that you put into practice very simple, very simple ways to manifest on a daily basis. Very simple ways, nothing complicated because the goal is for you to first build faith. Faith in what? Faith in your ability to manifest. So this is the first principle we want to talk about. Write this down. I'm very excited. This is going to really, my goodness, add so much joy and excitement to your life. Principle number one. Before you can manifest anything, You have to first manifest the manifester. Let me say it again. Before you can manifest anything, you have to first manifest the manifester. What do I mean by that? Let's say you want to become um a doctor right that is able to perform surgery for example i'm trying to find something simple so you can grasp it okay so let's say the performance of surgery on a human being body is what you want to be able to manifest First, watch this. You have to first manifest the surgeon or the doctor in you. And then the doctor in you will manifest the ability to perform surgery. How does that work? This is going to really, really bless your life. This is going to bless your life, I tell you. You go to school and they give you something called information. It's a data, they give you information. In formation, which means something is forming within, mostly in your brain. So you get the information and you study the information to get understanding. And then understanding transforms the information into knowledge. And as you assimilate this knowledge, the knowledge becomes a belief system. What does that mean? Your neurons came together to form a neural pathway or a neural network to hold in place the knowledge as a belief, which means the information, the words became flesh, your brain. So when that happens, the knowledge has now become a personality. That personality is the one you call the doctor. It's an information, a data that has become flesh in you. So when you go to perform surgery, the data get activated, the personality gets activated and wears your body as a glove and begin to perform surgery. In the same way, 
The first challenge is I want you to compose the information of the person you want to be. The manifestor, the manifestor, the one, the artist, the creator, the artist that is going to manifest the life you want, the life you want, you have to design him first. And this is what we are going to do for the first challenge. I want you to take a piece of paper and a pen. And I want you to give to this manifesto, which is actually another version of you. I want you to give him or her a name. Please let it be a name that is not John, Philip, Sylvia, a name that is popular, right? Create a name for it. A name that doesn't exist, create it for it. And say to yourself, I am the creator. I'm an extension of source of God. And I'm about to build a human being within me who is going to manifest the life that I want. So you give him a name. All right. Then I want you to work in four categories. Number one, the self. What would you like him to think about himself? And I want you to find four qualities. Four qualities that you want this character to think about himself or herself. Four good qualities, positive qualities. All right? Number two. Four emotional qualities that you want this character to feel about himself or herself. Listen, we are going to design the manifesto. The Bible will say, take off the old man and put on the new man, which is created to be like God in true holiness and righteousness. So if a man is supposed to be put on and take off, then it's a spirit, it's a consciousness. It's a consciousness. So you have to design that consciousness and consume it so it possess your being and begin to manifest the life you want. So I want you to find four emotional qualities that this being, this character, feels about himself or herself. What would you like this character to feel about himself or herself? That's number two. Number three. What type of lifestyle would you want this character to have? I want you to target the areas of relationship, health, and finances. I want you to write clearly the type of lifestyle. You see, you are the God who is creating this human being as your child. See? What type of of lifestyle would you want this being to have? And number four, what type of legacy or impact or transformation would you like this character to live on earth before he or she dies? I want you to create the story just take every single day don't rush right go in nature find a beautiful music go at the beach get a journal a piece of paper whatever it is go in the zone breathe relax you are creating a human being all right who is going to manifest the life you want and i want you to take every single day to work on this this is the first episode i will see you on the next but before we get there for most of you who are already familiar with the mystery school where we are learning some deep stuff, you can go on uh, my website and learn more about it. The link is actually in the description. Feel free to share this challenge with your friends and family so that we can all have a good time doing this so that you can see the people that you love have their life changed and transformed. Guys, I'm teaching you something that I have learned and channeled from my higher self in meditation so that it can bless your life. So subscribe, share this video with friends and families, and then click on the link below. And I would love to see you in the mystery school. As a matter of fact, 
I want to see you there. I'm looking forward to impact 10,000 lives, 10,000 subscribers. That is my legacy work and I'm very excited and I made it affordable so that everyone can take advantage of it. God bless you. Bye-bye.